alongside Dylan Rice, I'm Lawrence Faulkner. Throughout the course of the regular season for football, we'll be giving you analysis and interviews as we cover each and every game for the entire football season. As we all know, CASA thrives on its football. Over the past two regular seasons, the Rams have destroyed their opponents by 19 and 1. The postseason, however, has been a different story. Last year, making it home for the first time in five years, the Rams went on to lose in the first round to eventual section champ Rodriguez. But hey, old season, new team, new dream. Some key questions going into the season. Impact players, who's going to step up when the time is needed? Playoffs, what do the Rams need to do during the regular season to make it past the playoff hump and make it to the section title? And finally, living up to the hype, how are they going to avoid a massive collapse during the season? Those questions and more will be answered throughout the rest of the broadcast of this game day show. And if you didn't know already, season starts tonight, 7 o'clock, Newman Field, against the Wood Creek Timberwolves. If you forgot what happened last time, let's just refresh your memory, shall we? All right, got Matt Satchwell back deep to return a punt, bobbles it, bounces, picks it up, picks up a block and gives a little move, streaking down the sideline, kaboom, runs over the kicker, he takes this one for a quick six. Despite the Wolves' 0-10 season, they did give the Rams a run for their money last year, the first game, just going on to lose by a touchdown, 14 to 21. As we bring in Dylan Rice, our game day analyst, football analyst, and junior athlete. Dylan, what is different this year than a year ago? Well, this year, Lawrence, there's a lot of talent coming up with the junior class, and the seniors, they're hungrier than ever. It's change of pace with Sam Martinez starting at quarterback, and Matt Satchel is returning the main running back. He's hoping to improve on over a dozen touchdowns and a thousand all-purpose yards. Defensively, the Rams are going to need to shut down the run, specifically Timberwolves featured carrier James Nunley. They have two athletic quarterbacks who like to carry the rock also. Defensive game plan hinges on containing outside the run. Outside backers and defensive ends like Zach Hackett, Justin Hayden, and Cole Carter are going to need to step it up big time in this game. Now, you talked about Cole Carter. Senior, Outside linebacker, good athlete, plays baseball. You like to know anything more about him? Uh, you're about to find out. Player profile. My dream play is we're losing late in the game. A receiver comes, runs a slant, come up, lay him out, take his helmet off, puts the ball on the ground. We recover it. Our offense drives down, wins the game for us. What does the defense have to do to stop the fast running back from Wood Creek? We have to do our jobs. We have to keep him inside the tackles, keep contained. We have to hit him hard, put the ball on the ground. He doesn't like to hold the ball. He doesn't like contact. I expect our defense to be hard hitting and relentless. Our offense to be quick, mobile, and get the job done. I expect to shut out this Friday. Uh, I basically do the same thing before every game. Go home, have something to eat, get all my gear ready, make sure everything's good come to the field, go into the locker room, I basically stay quiet, think of what I'm going to do, my jobs that night, uh, get ready, just get mentally focused, and then come out and have a game. And I expect a shutout and get our first win this season. 